Well, for the women's team, you know, because we had indoor season for them, it's just a continuation. We've been practicing outdoors since January 9th when we got here. Um, so it just gives us an opportunity to get an advanced leg up on the outdoor season. So the girls are really excited about that to see where they're headed. Uh, the men's team, we didn't have an indoor season, so this is the first meet for them, and they've been training really hard for three weeks. So again, a lot of excitement then for them. Training's been going really well. We're in what we call general prep um, uh, preparation for our season. So it's mostly endurance space with some speed brought in. And over the next few weeks, we'll go into specific prep and then a competition phase. So the early meets, they're really to see where we're at. The training has been a challenge though with the weather, as you know, we've had a lot of rains here in Southern California. Um, and we've worked through that. I think that that's actually a good thing because it helps us deal with adversity um, both on the track and in life and so we use that as an opportunity to learn things. On our sprints team, probably Izzy Connell is our strongest returner. She's going to hold all their school records by the time she leaves. Uh, she says she's a senior. I keep claiming that she's a junior, but she's a senior and uh, is, is our strongest runner there. Um, newcomers, Emma England, uh, she came onto the scene in the, the short hurdles for us, and I suspect she'll be really good in the 100 hurdles. Uh, Talia Holenstein's another freshman coming on. She's a strong 400 meter runner. She's going to develop over her time here. So it's really kind of uh, building from what we did during the indoor season. Gabby Ellis also is really strong right behind uh, Izzy, so that's that's very, um, we got some good depth there in our sprinters. On the distances, we're mostly freshmen there, and so it's going to be a learning opportunity for all of them in the longer distances. And it usually takes a while, you know, two or three years to develop them, so they're, they're, they'll set PRs every weekend, so that's kind of nice. On the men's side, Nick Heath comes back as our strong uh, competitor in the longer distances, and he's just taken off where he left off during cross-country season, running um, outstanding workouts. We suspect he's going to be an NCAA qualifier this season. Um, we'll try to get him into a couple of really good braces so that he can make the qualifications for that. Nick Blanchard's also running very, very strongly. He's kind of a middle distance runner, more 1,500, 5,000. Uh, Torn Weil is another senior for us, and uh, he's been running just incredible races or, or incredible workouts for us. So I think the men's team is more seasoned than, uh, um, than our distance runners on the women's side, and they're going to have some outstanding performances. Well, this is an annual event for us. We started several years ago with UCSB and Westmont, and it's kind of a friendly competition. The coaches know each other, some of the athletes know each other. We've got a really nice setting up at Westmont. Next year, I believe the UCSB's track is gonna open up, so we'll probably move over there. The competition is excellent, though. Um, Westmont's got a very strong team for a NAIA school. Um, and they've been competing for six or seven weeks now, indoor season. UCSB is always really strong, so it's very good competition for us. Because it's only three teams, though, the meet guy goes kind of quickly, and everyone gets, is able to compete and he has some good experiences with it.